Hey guys, good to be with you today. We're in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4. If you have your Bibles, go ahead and open up to 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4. The Bible says, For out of much affliction and anguish of heart I wrote to you with many tears, not that you should be grieved, but that you might know the love. Check this out. That, that you might know the love which I have so abundantly for you. So, like, you've heard of tough love. I know that you have. And this is exactly what the Apostle Paul is saying. Because you know, when Paul wrote, there were four letters that were exchanged between this church and Paul. But when Paul wrote, there were some really tough things that he had to say, right? There were tough things that he had to say. And, you know, some people were... I mean, I'm not necessarily sure they were hurt over it, but some people were offended over it. And this might have been why Paul was getting some of the pushback that he did. Because, you know, when you tell someone the truth and they don't like it, sometimes the way that they express their dislike for what you've said is by attacking you. And I think that this probably was happening to the Apostle Paul. And Paul simply says here, listen, the reality was this. Um, it wasn't easy for me to say that to you. It wasn't easy. It was like with a lot of affliction and anguish. You know, those hard words that I had to write, you know, about taking that young person in the church that was committing sexual immorality to the extent that not even the world does, that you needed to de deliver him to, this, to the devil for the destruction of his flesh. That was not easy. I didn't just write those words down. Man, I had to pray. I had to suffer over whether or not I was even going to convey that to you. And my intention wasn't that you would be grieved, that you would be personally hurt. My, the intention clearly was that you would get things right with God. And that in, in saying this, you would see how abundantly I love you. How abundantly, that, that just the very fact that I went through the process that I did, you know, that I did have anguish, that, that it was hard for me to say. They were hard words. They were hard words to share with you. But I did it because I care about you. I did it because I, I don't want to see the devil get an advantage in your life. I did it because I don't want you derailed in your faith. You know, I said those things because I don't want you experiencing anything less than what God has for you. I don't want you having some counterfeit shell of Christianity that is just, you know, all show on the outside and totally empty on the inside. Paul's like, I said those words to you because I love you. And you know what? That's what love does. Love sometimes shares words that are hard to say. And the truth is that there, when, when, when we're in that spot and we know God is prompting us to say something that's difficult, you know, there better be, you know, there better be a, a, a pathway of difficulty to get to that point. It shouldn't be easy for us just to like rip off words, you know, that could potentially hurt people or cause them grief. That shouldn't come easy to us. It shouldn't come to, to easy to us when it's face to face. And it shouldn't come easy to us when it's on social media. You know, I, I think we need to be in a place where if in fact God is leading us to say something difficult, we've got to go through the process of anguishing over it, right? And part of the anguish is praying that those hard words that we speak are going to be received by those that we speak them to. Because ultimately, we're not just looking to get stuff off of our chest. We're not looking just to be right in a conversation. You know, we're not looking to assert our superiority over other people. We're desiring God to minister to a soul. And I just want to encourage us with a couple of things today. No, number one is this. If God's put on your heart something difficult to share with somebody, make sure you go through the process of prayer, right? Make sure that you've worked your way through really interceding and asking God to get your heart right and to prepare the heart of the person you're sharing with because fundamentally you want them to be able to receive. Um, that you would, number two, share in love, right? It's an expression of love. There shouldn't be anger. There shouldn't be animosity. This is not just you relieving the burden on your chest. This is really an expression of love. That you would take the risk to take the step. That you would take the risk to take the step. You know, that, that the reality is sometimes you have to share something difficult knowing that if a person doesn't receive it, they may turn away from you. And as you've gone through the process, you ultimately know you're just being obedient to God and you're going to trust Him with the results. And then the last thing I want to share is if someone 
loves you enough to share something difficult with you, be willing to receive it. Now you might, you might say, well, pastor, they shared something with me that I just don't see in my life. Well, this, don't, just, don't just close the door on it. Say, hey, you know what? I don't see that in my life, but I trust you and I know you love me. And I know this has been a process for you to get to the point where you actually have to share this with me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to God in prayer. I'm gonna take it to God in prayer. I realize that I have the tendency and the ability to deceive even myself. And so I'm gonna ask God to show me if in fact this is true. Look, how much would this approach purify our lives as Christians and even the church? Let's be willing to love each other enough to share hard truths, but let's make sure that when we do, we share it in love. Father, help our hearts to be receptive to those things that are difficult to receive sometimes. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.